Zephaniahu. Zephaniah 1. The word of Yahuwah, which came unto Zephaniahu, the son of Cushi, the son of Gidaliahu, the son of Armariahu, the son of Yahizkiyahu, in the days of Yoshiyahu, the son of Amon, king of Yahuda. I will utterly consume all things from off the land, says Yahuwah. I will consume man and beast. I will consume the fowls of the heavens and the fish of the sea and the stumbling blocks eth with the wicked and I will cut off eth man from off the land, says Yahuwah. I will also stretch out my hand upon Yahuda, and upon all the inhabitants of Yerushalayim, and I will cut off eth the remnant of Baal from this place, and eth the name of the Kemarim with the priests, and them that worship eth the host of the heavens upon the housetops, and them that worship and that swear by Yahuwah, and that swear by Malkam, and eth them that are turned back from Yahuwah, and those that have not sought at Yahuwah, nor inquired for him. Hold your peace at the presence of Adonai Yahuwah. For the day of Yahuwah is at hand, for Yahuwah has prepared a sacrifice, he has bid his guests, and it shall come to pass in the day of Yahuwah's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. In the same day also will I punish all those that leap on the threshold which fill their master's houses with violence and deceit. And it shall come to pass in that day, says Yahuwah, that there shall be the noise of a cry from the fish gate and a howling from the second and a great crashing from the hills. Howl, ye inhabitants of Maktesh, for all the merchant people are cut down. All they that bear silver are cut off. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search at Yerushalayim with candles and punish the men that are settled on their lees, that say in their heart, Yahuwah will not do good, neither will he do evil. Therefore their goods shall become a booty and their houses a desolation. They shall also build houses, but not inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards, but not drink at the wine thereof. The great day of Yahuwah is near. It is near and hastens greatly. Even the voice of the day of Yahuwah, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the shofar and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. And I will bring distress upon men, that they shall walk like blind men, because they have sinned against Yahuwah, and their blood shall be poured out as dust, and their flesh as the dung. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of Yahuwah's wrath, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of Eth all them that dwell in the land.